What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Wasted where people are trying to murder us and we are actively being hunted by the Brotherhood of Steel who is a giant douchebag. I mean they call him the SOB but... It's a fine day to die. I wonder if it's possible... Oh he can be blown up. Okay so that's a plus. Let's keep moving as rapidly as possible. How about that pooping pills? Cleans out the old tailpipe. Reduces the duration of future food comas by 75% for 10 minutes. <laughs> the pooping pills. I'm going to eat the pooping pills because <laughs> why not? We're two seconds into an episode and I'm eating pooping pills. You are too medicated to use. Oh man, we're about to die. I do wish that I could close doors more effectively. Ooh, we got rifle ammo and buckshot. It's too bad I can't close doors behind me. That door is inaccessible, so we ain't going through there. I don't want to be here anymore. Ow. This is a terrifying world that I don't understand or want to be a part of. No! I got him. He's got the pistol. He's got the denim disaster piece. The junk food would be amazingly useful, so forget the mutamut guts. Let's grab the junk food. I'm going to eat it because I need the health very badly. That's going to hurt my speed. But you know what? I don't think anybody's going to catch me. You probably will fight me, find me because I'm shooting guns like crazy. Easy breathers, clipboard and empty syringe. Oh, dude, did I take a wrong turn? Alright, well, I'll throw the brick over there. I don't think we could do anything with the turlet. Oh, there was a sawed-off trap. Okay. I get what they're going for. They're telling you to saw it off with shotgun shells to your chest. See? I can put two and two together. That ends up making 22. I'm gonna kill ya! Are you though? That was oh, oh. Sorry, man. You gotta go. The Raider Horn Dog vest. It does look pretty cool. Uh. <gasps> what is that? Is that the? Oh, I tried to get rid of it by shooting it, but it didn't work. I spotted. No! Stop spotting me! Oh shit, balls! I need something. I think that was the elevator that we needed to get to in order to survive. Such a douchebag. Apparently, I gotta make these go faster. The bees used to be called the Bella Scouts before the apocalypse. Oh. They're probably like little girls. Like Girl Scouts with cookies, but they've also got guns and they want to murder you. We're not, we're not faring so well right now for our first foray into the dungeon. Things are going kind of poorly for us. I wish they were going better, but they're not. Are my pooping pills still working? Good, my pooping pills are still rocking right now. Get rid of that food coma. Nope. How do you shoot that far off to the right when he's right in front of you, man? Killing me right now. How come none of these guys have ammo? Can you unload it? Like if I go to my, oh, it, maybe it auto loots. Seems plausible. There's a trap right there. That seems unpleasant. Let's not step on that. And I guess the game is meant to be played kind of frenetically. Like, you're supposed to play fast. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that right there. We'll take one of those. And I'll come back for the other ones if I need to. I don't see much point in sneaking. Because the game seems to be meant we've got a tripping hazard, a one-way trip to the grave, an explosive mine that is triggered by motion. Another meta stim and a pencil, just in case you wanted to do some artistry. I'm going to keep doing drugs a lot because it seems to work out okay for me. Got another meta stim right there. Easy breathers in a mug. I'm going to use that meta stim real fast so that we can have maximum health for maximum fun and maximum shootery. 
I would have liked to have gotten that SMG from the guy on the previous floor. Uh, I feel regretful, but unfortunately we had a chain gun up the tailpipe. And when you got a chain gun up your tailpipe, you just gotta go. That's how the old southern saying goes, right? Did she just block bullets with her hands? Alright, so we got Brass Nux. Not too bad. Probably not as good as what we got going on with the crowbar, though. The Raider Sprayer. It's a doozy! So he's got the doozy. I think we should probably take the doozy. It's probably a smart idea. So let's go ahead and up our game a little bit here, shall we? What the hell? So I've got the TP, but how do I use... Ah, yes, it auto-loots. It says got 18 ammo right there. Alright, so let's get this gun. I wonder if at a certain point you'll be strong enough... To actually kill off the son of a bitch raider guy. Oh, we got real guns now. Damn it! Son of a bitch. Mines everywhere. It's like the first time I started playing. We've got a clipboard and a crowbar. Apparently there was a mine over here somewhere. We got four TP. I'm just looking for more healing items. Anything, we have five pistol ammo. Anybody want to fight me? Yeah, that's how the gunfight goes around here. Woo, she gets the job done, don't she? We just picked up toilet paper. Apparently toilet paper is the currency out here. Nine pistol ammo off that dead douchebag. Doozy Raider straps and safety pants. We need to watch out for mines in here. That's how they keep getting me. We got pistol ammo over there. Metal box has got a black baseball cap, which gives plus one to armor. We've got an eye patch, which sounds pretty rad. I may have to go with, yeah, I may have to go with the eye patch. I don't want to live in a world where my character doesn't have an eye patch. So, there, we already have an eye out, if I remember correctly. Like, if we... We have the things we chose. Is it possible to kill the radio and make it shut up? I'm full up on Metastim, so I'm just going to wait this out right here for a minute. And once the cooldown's up, we'll go ahead and throw some extra healing on. Because I don't want to leave things behind. And yes, this is exactly the kind of player I am when I play Wolfenstein and stuff too. Metal box with another metastim, revolver ammo. Uh, my strategy doesn't really revolve around wheel guns right now, so. A power pack, ammunition for sciency weapons. Okay. Was that a, a suicide, a jihad? What the hell is that? A Roddy Cooler mate. I'm going to assume that they don't mean Rottweiler. Cooler armor. Six tinker, four obliteration, minus ten. That's actually real armor. So let's wear that. Get rid of the cold shoulder thing. That's actually like legit armor. So now I keep pressing tab to get to my inventory for some reason. So we got our disaster piece. We got the cooler armor. We got the doozy and everything else all in play. All right. So I don't want to get diseases, so I'm going to try not to step... Oh, man, something's out to get me. A breath of fresh air. We could get a gas mask. It's the final countdown. Charge for one second to blow yourself up. It's the final countdown. A tater? The hell do I need a tater for? A tater for my haters. Of which I actually don't have that many. I have some, but not that many. To have haters, you actually have to have some kind of, like, internet presence. There we go. See, the best way to use this thing is just bursty style. Raider horn dog vest. Let's reload. Oh, we're out of ammo. Well, that'll be fun to deal with in just a minute. Yay! I disarmed a tripping hazard. There's a rifle ammo. A brick. A metastim. No ammo, though, which is a tad concerning. I need bullets. I am fascinated by this game, by the way. It's kind of like they converted Fallout into a roguelike. 
Oh, shit. I only have one bullet left. Can I have pistol ammo? Oh, maybe that's why it hasn't been loaded. Put the junk food back. We got meta stims. And then take the pistol ammo. For sure, take the pistol ammo. We don't have pistol ammo. We ain't got nothing. I'm going to use this meta stim over here. There we go. So meta right now. I'm a little worried that at any moment we're going to... The swole? What the hell is swole? Big things truly do come in small packages. Oh, so it's a drug. It gives me plus three to hit for 90 seconds. I feel like I should be collecting ammunition just in case I find, like, that gun. Hey, Genghis. Mind putting that thing away? I ain't here to maim you. Just your own road courier business. The hell is a road courier? If a problem comes along, you must ship it. Not ringing any bells? I'm pretty sure those aren't the words. Jeez, I'd ask if you've been living under a rock. But, uh, considering the venue of our little conversation, well, we road couriers are the big movers and shakers here in the western wastes. Movers, mostly. Shaking's more or less stopped since even the raiders have learned better than to hit our caravans. Pickups, deliveries, you name it. Anything needs moving from one garbage pit to another, you can count on the couriers. Shit, how do I sound up? Or sign up? Well, let's see here. Looks like you ain't signed up for our delivery service. Tell you what, though. Come visit us up at the Oni Express. Just, uh, head towards Sacramento and follow the smell of booze. <laughs> You'll find it in no time. The guy there will set you right up. Anyways, I'm already behind on my delivery, so I gotta skedaddle. Remember, the Oni Express up in Sacramento. Can't miss it. See you later, waster. Hell yeah, we're going to Sacramento. Going to suck dough. Let's see, courier box is empty. At the end of every section of the cooler, you find a room with a selection of random boozes. If you're not feeling confident about pushing on, it might be a good idea to drink a booze and pass out. You'll return home with all of the items you're holding on to in addition to the hangover granted by the bottle of booze. Otherwise, you can ignore the bottle of booze and continue onwards to the elevator. Note that bottles of booze that are found deeper in the cooler are fresher than ones found earlier on and will grant more powerful and useful hangovers. Likewise, boozes found in the first few floors of the coolers will generally grant detrimental hangovers, which can make your life in the ways more difficult. Your survival will largely depend on what drinks you choose to drink and which you forego, so choose wisely and remember that waking up with a bad hangover is always better than ending up dead. So we got meta stims, we got tripping hazards over here. Man, those pooping pills carried me, didn't they? Drinky booze will give you powerful hangovers, but you'll pass out and go home. Explosive sidecar, the lightweight lager. I'm thinking weakness whiskey is probably not something that I want to drink. Eh, let's keep going. We're not in that bad of shape. We're out of bullets, but aside from that, everything else is good. B4 dormitories! Alright, let's keep on trucking here. I love the music, by the way. I don't know. I like 80s drug dealer montage music. I can't help it. Got a can opener, some swole, some buckshot. I just need pistol ammo in all honesty. I don't have enough room to move that over. Oh, we'll get rid of the rifle ammo. Get rid of the tripping hazard. Get rid of the... Why am I not wearing pants right now? Damn it! I'm never wearing pants, am I? We can get rid of the baseball bat. I don't think we're going to need it. I'm going to start bringing some of the other ammo types along with me. Get the doozy reloaded here. We've got a hustle, though. Let me put my denim disaster. Oh, we got the cooler armor. It takes... Oh, it takes the top and the bottom. Okay, I can see from the picture. All right, so that's why the stats are so good on it. It actually uses up two of your equipment spots. There's a paper dispenser. Oh, cool. We can get free TP over there. A Raider blaster tank. Torso armor. Here comes the boom. Ready or not, something, something, and the boys from the south. Bruiser jacket, you snooze, you bruise. Jump over that particular hazard. Let's get low just in case. You never know what's going to be around. Pistol ammo, buckshot, and a power pack. Probably leave those for right now. Inside the dresser, we've got a dork vest, and we've got a kitchen knife. Keep hacking and whacking and smacking. Chop, 
Shop. Shopman at me. And a power pack up there with some more pistol ammo. That was easy enough. We're like running through the wasteland jacking people for TP right now, dude. You know how hardcore that is? You know how sad and just like devoid of any substance your life has to be to just be riding around the wastelands jacking people's toilet paper? That's all that I ever... I think there's somebody stuck in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That junk food in there. She was whacking me through the door, but you know what? Okay, is that a knife inside the toilet? Isn't that the metal up your ass album cover? I think it is. There's a knife sticking up out of the toilet. Metallica references everywhere. Which, of course, I am forced to denigrate being a Megadeth fan. Holy shit, what is going on in here? Welcome to the own zone. The own zone. I don't want to spend too much time murdering you. How are you not dead yet? Please fall down. I, I require you to stop doing the things that you are currently doing to me. I'm going to eat some food real fast. Still got poop and pills for 20 seconds, so... Got to do what you got to do, I guess. I do wish that I could... Well, it looks like it auto-unloads everything, so it should be fine. Let's keep an eye out for mines and... Oh, shit. There's a shotgun trap right there. It might be disarmed, but... Oh, God. We're already hunted. That was quick. I had a sneaking suspicion it might go down like that. Anything inside the shower curtain? Nope, just a brick in need of a bath. See, this is why I don't sneak. Let's never sneak again. We got a baseball bat over here. Got a dork vest. Nothing that I actually want, though. Although I'm going to strongly... Oh, we made it down to the next floor already. That's why it was so quick, because the floor was shorter. I was going to say, it felt like we got the SOB real fast. Let me go in on a meta stim real fast. Alright, we got this. I wonder if there's like a base when we get out of here that we get to like upgrade or... Christ. Oh. I have made... Ugh. I have made poor decision making. He's got Roddy Man guts, which... Apparently, I just ate the guts of a ghoul because I like to ride like that. Let's go with the crowbar for a hair magazine. What does that do? Hair. Gotta have it. Fashion accessory unlocks new styles for your characters. Oh, that's pretty badass. It's got a thousand TP value, too, so we'll take that. The business top. Gives us one to shoot and two to sneak. And it would allow us to wear our pants again. I'm gonna take it. Can I... How do I drop this right here if I wanted to, like... G, okay. I'm a crowbar somebody by the end of the day, but not before I get my TP. Gotta make sure your booty is all taken care of. Your booty's dripping and it ain't been taken care of. The grenade. I'm gonna give you to the count of three. A throwable grenade that blows up after three seconds. Let's do it. I like grenades. And let's go ahead and keybind that too. I'm gonna put that on the three. All right, whatever. I guess I'll go the way that's locked. Who the hell is shooting? Oh, wow, okay. Melee appears to be pretty good, too. Although I have my suspicions that when they blow up, I don't want to be near them. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I figured. Roddy Man Guts. I'm going to go ahead and eat them real fast. We've got SOB Crusader Fatigues. Wasters don't get wasted. And then we got Pants. Makes you take less damage from bullets, which is pretty cool. It also has the added benefit of looking like real armor, which is 
Sometimes appearances matter. Ain't nobody respect you in the wasteland if you ain't got the real armor. Let's get a meta stim in us. Yeah. This is gonna be challenging. Got a business top and a bunch of dork gear. Baseball bat and a blue headband, just in case we wanted to swing or we wanted to sneak better. Can there be anything on the beds or hidden around here? I can't really tell. I'm not experienced enough with the game to know. That door is inaccessible. I was wondering why it wasn't showing up on the map. damage we're currently taking from like every single attack is absolutely going to cause us problems. Apparently my tinkering skill is not high enough. Oh well. Problem solved. Yeah! Oh that worked so well. That worked so well and I feel so good about it. Let's get rid of... God, I don't know. All I know is that I really need ammo so that I can shoot things again. Although, it seems to be the way to go that you kind of want a melee weapon. The melee weapon seems to be pretty powerful. I'm going to eat the junk food, too, because why not? Dork vest. Mine over there. I'll disarm it so we don't have to worry about that. It looks like I can just barely get it open. Ooga booga. Ooga booga indeed. Is that a shotgun? Oh, he's got the chick chick. That is the noise that it makes. Chick chick boom. But I took the rifle ammo. See, I was hedging my bets. Weak against armored targets. They call it the old double pump. I'll give it a go. Let's grab the chick chick. I'm gonna get rid of the rod away, and we'll take the buckshot. And I ain't suppose we got any ammo around. Oh, there's a cooler box in here. We got taters and junk food. I'm gonna eat the junk food real fast because I'm sure that'll make me feel great. A green baseball cap gives you armor. We're being hunted right now, so I don't think it's the time for digital missives. You better back up, pal. We ain't playing that game today, the final countdown. Yeah, I think we've dealt with you before. I don't see any mines around. So... You're already dead. Well, save me some trouble. Good. Let's keep hustling here. We got dork slacks. We also got a mine right there that looks like it's made out of bottle cork. Drinking from an unmarked flask grants you buzz which imparts a powerful effect on your character. Some of them give you abilities, modify your stats, but there's no telling what's gonna happen until you take a sip. Unlike hangovers, buzzes won't cause you to pass out and return home and they aren't permanent. Their effects wear off once you leave the cooler. Yeah, do it. Yeah, big brains increases your tinker by three. You might be the first person in human history to get smarter while drinking. Good enough for me. Keep trucking here. Is this our elevator? It's got to be close. Well, that didn't go according to plan. I'm going to knock you back. And then what I need right now is get the chick chick out. And I still took damage, although this gun is very satisfying, and I can't wait to use it further. Oh, you got the old meta stim right there, huh? I'll take it. What have you got? The cold shoulder and not much else. A side-slung fanny pack. It's an accessory. We definitely need that. How do I wear it? 
Oh, there it is. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel guys here, so let's leave, shall we? Yep, time to go. Down to the next floor, and let's just not worry about it. We're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Wasted. I'm liking this one a lot, although I want to see what happens when we go back to base after this. That's going to be the big hinging factor for me. It's like, what happens when you're no longer scavenging? We'll find out in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Bye, everybody, and I'll see you later.